Hello and welcome to Rehab and Recovery with Dr. Miles Sandoval. Today's practice is called playing the tape. It's a good exercise to use when you're thinking about engaging in any kind of unwanted behavior and you're having a hard time answering the question, well, why shouldn't I? It's easy to get a sort of tunnel vision when you're thinking about drinking or using or acting out in any way. But this quick visualization exercise can help remind you of the negative consequences of acting out, as well as the long-term positive benefits of staying in recovery. It only takes a few minutes and can be done anytime or anywhere. So let's get started. Begin by taking one full, but not forced, deep belly breath, releasing any sense of urgency on the out breath. You may be caught in a feeling of should I, shouldn't I, will I, won't I. It helps to take a moment to remember. You can always make that decision later. For now, take a moment to visualize the expected outcome if you do decide to drink or use or act out. If you're listening, chances are this is a behavior you've probably engaged in many times before. And chances are you're probably well versed in the typical consequences. Acting out may offer a short-term sense of relief from an urge. But what else tends to happen when you drink or use or act out? Are there any kind of physical consequences, like feeling hungover or bloated? or fatigued? Are there any kind of emotional consequences? Would you feel disappointed in yourself? Would you feel hopeless? Visualizing these consequences in detail can help remind you of all of the effects of drinking or using, good and bad. Within the context of this tool, we call this visualization playing side A of the tape. But let's switch sides because a fear-based recovery is not a joyful recovery. When we play side B of the tape, we visualize the effects of not using, not drinking, not acting out. While there may be some very temporary discomfort associated with calming an urge to use. Consider the physical effects of not acting out, of waking up in the morning well rested, without a hangover. Consider the incremental investment you are making into the long-term healing of your brain and body. Lastly, consider the emotional effects of successfully soothing an urge without giving in. 
most urges last less than 20 minutes if we do not ruminate on them. So as you ride this urge out, would you feel accomplished? Would you feel a sense of agency in your own life? Could you feel proud of yourself for practicing new behaviors that are better for your health? Could not acting out help you rebuild trust with family and friends? Visualizing side B of the tape can help remind you how tolerating this discomfort right now is actually a tremendous investment in your long-term health, happiness, and well-being. If your urges are still strong, you might shift into another tool like urge surfing. Otherwise, I hope this tool breakdown was helpful and you can feel free to come back to it as often as you need. Until next time, may you have peace in your thoughts Peace in your words and peace in your heart.